So let's so let's get into let's get into this this uh this this ongoing beef with Joe. Now, how, like how, like okay, like, like I don't know if we we talk about let's get into like how did it all start? <laughs> it's it's literally it's all Joe. There's no, for me there is no beef. Joe <laughs> fucking hates Shawn Michaels. It, it's it's just, the fucking you know with a straight. passion and he loves <sighs> Bret Hart. I love both of them, but I also love Sh- as a kid growing up, man, I love Shawn Michaels. DX was the coolest fucking thing when you were in like oh, yeah. kindergarten, first, second, third grade, or whatever the fuck. And you know, fuck authority and suck it. You know, that that was I grew up on that shit. And even a little bit before that, you know, when Undertaker was beating the shit out of Shawn Michaels, he was bleeding, and then that's when Kane debuted. Like he's he's Shawn Michaels is a pivotal part of WWE wwf at the time uh so i grew up on on he sat in with joe so there you go, there we uh, go. you know i uh i grew up on Shawn michaels I, I loved him and uh brett was always the bad guy he was the canadian asshole as far as i was concerned mm-hmm. uh, i was definitely team wwf over you were, you were a true blue american bro a hulkster bro you know you I, were hey, i loved hulkster too man but <laughs> that's the thing you know he uh he hates Shawn michaels so you know I uh, unfortunately now I'm going to bat for Shawn Michaels and I'm like, well, fuck Bret Hart. And suddenly it's Chris versus Joe, Bret versus Shawn. Well, I mean, it doesn't help. It, does, it, on it doesn't help that you didn't you don't sit next to him. You know, like you, you're an opposite That's end of the point. fucking spectrum, you know, on the podcast, you know, it's like, yeah, you're not sitting next to him, man. And you, and you didn't go to the Bret Hart thing. You know, it's like, uh, it's like, yo, you, you really are like, you know, this is the Montreal <laughs> screw job about to happen, bro. Something's going to happen to Joe. You. It, it's all a, 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 a fiction just happening around me, and somehow it's like a black hole. I got sucked into it, and uh, you know now it's it's Chris versus Joe. But I will say, um, with the with the seats, Joe and Rob are both like over six foot, so we oh, have sure. to have them sit next to each other because that couch like sags. <laughs> Versus our couch that doesn't sag as much. So there's there's all this like Vin's it's probably Vin uh break rooms here laughing because there's all these like little things you have to figure out, and that's one of them. Yeah. Oh, so they're shit. at like the same level when they're talking. And we actually in the beginning we would change up where everybody sat, and I kind of like that because I, I thought it, it kept things interesting. Yeah. And we actually I thought it was a better idea to keep joe and rob at different tables because they're like two fucking kids in in elementary school when they sit next to each other oh they'll dude they look like throwing... they've known each other for years man like they're yeah. always chummy chummy with jokes well that's why we keep them together ultimately because you know it in some ways it's bad because they'll just fucking start talking to each other when we're in the <laughs> middle of talking about shit but at the same point you know whenever one of them's laughing usually you'll see fucking joe do the rick flair chop to rob's chest every time he says something funny he's always smacking them and they're, la- they're laughing their asses off and they both got the good laugh so we keep them together but no i mean i i love joe it was like i said i was i was his first friend uh at at the job that we were all at together and it all started with the sopranos but over time he's 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 letting his Bret Hart shit just eat I, away I mean, at him. I mean, Bret and fucking Sean were friends too at one time, man. They were. Well, the screw job. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll screw Joe over. We'll see. It's going to happen, bro. It's going to happen on the show. One day it's going to go, yo, where's Joe? Where's Joe? Joe? He's just gone. No? He's, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't, they didn't even acknowledge it in the story. It's, it's another paradox, bro. No, we could. You know what? It's, it's interesting because we've all kind of, um, we've all, we all have different roles on the show and there are certain things that like I thought I would have to 